This machine is a vapor phase reflow machine and this essentially solders boards and it reflows the solder paste into a metallic solder joint. And it does this by using the heat of condensation of the vapor phase in a fluid that boils at just the right temperature to melt the solder paste. And that temperature, as it turns out, is 235 degrees centigrade. And it differs from the convection reflow machine, which uses hot air to apply heat to the circuit. This uses the heat from a vapor which condenses on the solar joints. So it's using the latent heat of condensation of the vapor to melt the solder paste and convert it into a metallic tin joint. This is a batch process and the boards are loaded into a tray. On this occasion we've got four boards but you might have up to eight or twelve circuits in a go and they're loaded into the machine when I press start. The green line is our target temperature and the grey line you can see that it's rising along here and just here it goes up to the 235 degree centigrade region and that's the reflow point. The solder paste is, is melted and turned into metallic solder and then straight away it then drops and is cooled at a control rate. Through this window we can see the boards being gently immersed into the vapour. The boards are adjusted in height so the temperature increase is kept at the rate suitable for the soldering process. This is a favourite machine of ours because it is so easy to set up. It's very tolerant of the mass or the size of the board. It doesn't matter if we have a small board with tiny parts, or a very large board with large parts such as transformers. Because the heat of condensation, the energy in the vapour when it condenses, is so much greater than in the air using a convection reflow oven, it's able to heat up quite gently very large components with a high thermal mass. That might even be two ounce, three ounce copper boards. And we can use the same process window to reflow tiny boards or very large boards. It's a very predictable process.